Welcome back to Scandalous Los Angeles TV, where we expose the exposers. Today, we're gonna let you guys hear what Greg Kading has to say about CS2 back. You're gonna hear Greg attempt to shield his confidential source, but you're also gonna hear him place whack directly in the CS2 driver's seat. I'll interject a little throughout the interview, just to point out a few things. Other than that, I'm gonna just let it play. Tell me in the comment section what you think. Now, Greg, this isn't about you. This is about whack. I understand you have to do what you gotta do. But if he can bring you on Clubhouse to tell us all that stuff, I feel I should be able to ask some questions so that people can be informed. So again, this has nothing to do with you. This is about whack. Yeah, I get it. I get it. No, um, and, and again, I'm not trying to get in the middle of whatever bullshit is going on between whack and whatever bullshit's going on with Starbucks. I don't give a fuck about that beef. Whatever it is, they'll figure it out. I'm just going to tell you investigatively, um, we would have listed whack, um, Cash Jones, in our paperwork. Um, he would have been like target one, and his phone would have been target one. And so when we were looking at him, we used particular language in our paperwork so if we're writing the wiretap affidavit for his phone um, we would say cash jones also known as whack um you, know, you, you were utilizing target number whatever which would be his phone i think it was some 661 phone number and those that's just the language nowhere within the paperwork related to the investigation of cash jones related to the investigation of cash jones related to the investigation of Cash Jones, um, was he ever mentioned as a CS or an, an informant? Because he wasn't. Okay. Now, Greg, we're talking about the case Stutterbox had against Shaquille O'Neal and the seven Main Street Crips. When Wack brought you on Clubhouse, he asked you what would he have been referred to as in the paperwork. Uh, and then in your paperwork, I don't know. How was I referred to? Was I referred to Wack? Cash Jones, they have this back name. I don't know who the fuck back is. I don't know. I know I've never had that moniker, but you know, I don't know. Maybe it was some coded shit. Or how did you recall referring to me through all the paperwork when you guys were like listening in on my wiretaps? So like saying, okay, this is this is whack. This is Cash Jones on the wiretap. What what was I referred to in your uh cause I, I've never looked over that paperwork, never had a need to. What was I referred to? If Wack had nothing to do with Del Dog, Shaq, or any of the Main Street Crips, why would his name be being referred to in the paperwork at all? So, again, this is completely different investigation. We have to be real careful that we don't cross over these ideas because when I said he would have been mentioned in the paperwork, if we're, we're talking about Cash Jones's case, um, then we may have mentioned a CS, which would have been Stutterbox, um, saying these things about Cash that we investigated. There's that. Now, if Cash is asking me if his name was in the Main Street case, no, it wasn't. Now, if Cash is asking me if his name was in the Main Street case, no, it wasn't. So we all know that Greg is not being truthful when he says that. We can clearly see Wax government name, Cash Jones, all in this case. Hey, Christopher Loves Boys. This shows you why you can't believe everything the police say. This also shows you that the police are protecting Wack, as they would any other confidential informant that's in good standing with them, unlike Stutterbox. But I want you to hear what Greg says right after he said Wack was not in the Main Street case at all. There was no mention of cash in the Main Street case. There was no mention of cash in the Main Street case, other than when he's trying to get a hold of Mark Stevens and um, in order to tell him that, that Box has um, been compromised. Yeah, and that's what the wiretap transcript said CS2 back, or WAC was calling Del Dog to do. Not Del Dog, but Mark Stevens. See what you just did, though? Yeah, I said Del Dog. You said CST, CS2 WAC. It doesn't say that, does it? Yes, it does. I, doesn't it say CS2 back? Yes, it says CS2 back. Okay, well, do you know what you just said? What did I say? CS2 whack. I meant CS2 back. Because in your mind, and, and bear with me, no offense here, but I think you've already come to the conclusion that back is whack, and that's why that's such an easy mistake to make. 
Well, the reason I think Wack is CS2 back is because that's who Mark Stevens said he was talking to. Well, nobody's disputing that. Nobody's disputing that Mark Stevens is saying that Wack is who he was talking to. But he's saying that that's back. He is saying that back is Wack. How, how does Mark Stevens put that together? Show me how Mark Stevens has anything to substantiate that back is Wack. In the, paper, in the paperwork, they put him as... Now the paperwork they put him as back, B A C K, and right. I kept and I kept asking, I kept asking um the lawyer like who the fuck is I ain't talked to no to no back, and they said nah, that's whack, but they put him as back because he a blood, so it's back. And I said oh okay. And was this back also referred as confidential source number two? Yes sir. Okay, so no offense to Mark, he, you know, I can't, he doesn't know any better, but when we're writing official police reports, we don't play the game game. We don't, we don't change language or change spelling um, because we are, you know, part of the game culture. We're like, man, we're not going to put whack, we're going to put back because he's a blood, not a crib. And you know, we don't, that's not how we operate. We don't. That's gang shit. We don't write as gangsters. We write as police officers and try to be as specific as possible. Greg is saying they try to be as specific as possible and that they don't do things like that. But we're all looking at a wiretap transcript where they did exactly that. They put a person named back in the paperwork and no one knows who back is. Uh, we don't change things in order to... So if... if Mark Stevens is thinking that, oh, man, the cops just put this in there this way because he's a blood and not a crip. It's, it's not how it works. I hear you, Greg. But even without them doing that, the conversation with Mark Stevens and Del Dog did actually take place. And Mark Stevens is saying the person who called him looking for Del Dog's phone number was Wack. Mark said he doesn't know anyone named Back. So why would they put some fake person that Mark has never, ever talked to in the transcripts? No, I get that. See, we are we are totally in agreement. Okay. The conversation is whack, obviously. Okay. The conversation is whack, obviously. But this explanation of whack being back, that doesn't, there's nothing to substantiate that other than... Now I'm going to pause right here because I want to make sure you guys didn't miss what just happened. I told Greg that Mark Stevens said he doesn't know anyone named back. So I asked Greg why would they put somebody in the paperwork that Mark Stevens doesn't know and has never, ever spoken to in his life. I'm going to play it again so you can hear how he evades my question. I hear you, Greg. But even without them doing that, the conversation with Mark Stevens and Del Dog did actually take place. And Mark Stevens is saying the person who called him looking for Del Dog's phone number was Wack. Mark said he doesn't know anyone named Back. So why would they put some fake person that Mark has never ever talked to in the transcripts? No, I get that. See, we are we are totally in agreement. Okay. The conversation is whack, obviously. Okay. The conversation is whack, obviously. But this explanation of whack being back, that doesn't there's nothing to substantiate that other than than a misunderstanding of how the police write ports or a misunderstanding of a lawyer, um, you know, because I'm telling you, and I don't know how much more I can emphasize this, Cash Jones was not an informant on the Main Street case. I'm with you on that. But you're agreeing that in the transcripts we have, it's whack that Mark and Dell are talking about in the conversation they're having, right? Yes, yes, yes. And, and I think Wack admits that. And, and I think Wack admits that. But he is, that this whole thing with Back, um, you know, it would have just been CS2, typically just left alone, CS2, because the investigators all know who CS2 is. Um, but in a wiretap, aren't they supposed to type exactly what they hear the person say? But that's not what you're reading. You're not reading. Pardon me, I'm getting shot. So you're, you're, the conversation is there. You can see the conversation, right? Right. And they're using his name as they're talking. The boy back wants your phone number. The person who transcribed the wiretap is typing that Mark is saying back. 
But Mark is saying that he was not saying back. He was saying whack. And you already agreed that these guys are talking about whack right here, but it's just using the name back until the last paragraph. In the last paragraph, Mark Stevens actually says the whack boy. Okay, so he's talking about whack. There is no back. There is no back. I just all I can say. So there you have it. Greg Kading says Del Dog and Mark Stevens are talking about whack in the wiretap transcripts, and at the same time he is saying whack isn't back. He said there is no back. When I asked him why would they put the name of some fake person in the paperwork, who Mark Stevens didn't know, he didn't answer me. Hey, somebody, hit Compton Rick Rock up and tell him that he should remix that Ain't No Bompton joint. Tell him to name the remix Ain't No Back. Because Greg Kading said there's no back. If Greg is saying there is no back, but the conversation being had in the wiretap is about whack, then this shouldn't read CS2 back. It should actually say CS2 whack. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications in the future.